hey what's going on you know who it is you know what it is like once again i really thinking about this lebron james thing it really got me really laughing well you know what like i said um you know for the people that had a problem with um kd going to the Warriors. you know hey if you can't beat him join him but i do want to see what it would be funny if lebron james did a move like that but as i said before lebron james then did it before don't come hollering that can't you can't beat him join him shit like i said before you miami heat fans didn't have a problem when he came to miami and he brought two future hall of famers with him and Stephen a smith is the biggest hypocrite out there because like i said when gary payton and Carl Malone joined the Warriors. He was Ron Ron. Oh, oh this is, now ain't nobody beating him. Ain't nobody beating him. It's a rap. It's a rap. It's a rap. And he was bragging about that throughout the season. Now, yeah, Gary Payton and um Carl Malone were past their prime, but hey, he didn't have a problem with that. He wasn't hollering that you don't go to the team that beat you shit then. And I, I gotta question anybody that follow a narrative of Stephen A. Smith. Uh, but Stephen A. Smith is a fraud, and now Stephen A. Smith just started to look more stupider and stupider for saying that shit, because he looks stupid now. He does, and he see see. I remember him doing that, and that's what I'm saying. He been inconsistent, because like I said, don't give me that shit about dudes were past their prime. Stop making up fake narratives. You can't push the goalposts back because you have to call everything out. You have to call everybody out. You can't just sit up there and have a problem with one person doing something. But then you don't have a problem with other people doing it. So like I said, he need to be reminded that. At the end of the day, free agency is free agency. So like I said... If KD going to the Warriors was a weak move, then LeBron James going to the uh, Heat was a weak move. And if he go to the Warriors, like I said, it wouldn't be the first time he did some shit like this. Went to pretty much a, a, a ready-made team. So stop the shit. Cut it. This whole narrative that Stephen A. Smith been pushing out is just fake. He wouldn't have been saying this shit if KD... Wouldn't it eat to him about him potentially going to the Lakers and saying the dude is a liar. He don't know what he talking about and all that shit. Stephen A. Smith been holding a grudge like a little bitch for the last year and some change. And that's where all this shit started. As I said before, I don't give a fuck what y'all think about KD going to the Warriors because he can go to whatever fucking team he want to. It's free agency. And if LeBron go to the Warriors, then, hey, you know what I'm saying? Too fucking bad. I don't think he's coming to the Warriors, but if he go to the Warriors, too fucking bad. Y'all can sit up there behind y'all computers and get mad all y'all want. He can do whatever the fuck he want to do. It's still not going to take away the fact that he's going to go into the NBA Hall of Fame on the first ballot and he's still going to be considered one of the greatest players that ever played. Okay. This totally different from Michael Jordan uh, joining the Wizards. Michael Jordan knew the Wizards didn't have a chance in hell of compete for a championship he just went because he just had that itch he felt that he wanted to play a couple of more seasons and then you know what i'm saying he helped the wizards sell uh tickets you know this all to be honest with you like i said this is uh youngster talk because we live in an age where people push fake narratives and shit where people get mad at shit that's been going on forever and shit. Like I said, free agency is free agency. And that's, so like I keep saying, if you guys really understood the meaning of free agency, then you would have a better understanding on why you can go to wherever the fuck you want to go. So you would rather have some owner telling you where you can go instead of you having a choice, right? That's cool, right? As long as you trade it, as long as the organization tell you where you can go, it's cool. But you can't go go where you want to go i'm the type of person a guy can go wherever the fuck he want to go i'm not going to tell the guy what team he should go play for because you don't have that right think of it this way how would you like it if somebody telling you you leaving your company to go somewhere where you got better benefits and better pay oh uh, you can't go there because that's the competitor man you just think of it that way how stupid y'all sound when you say that shit that you sound like idiots when you say that shit 
You really do. You go where you have a chance to win, and that's just the bottom line. You could go to any team but the Warriors. Says who? Says who? For real. Says who? I'm waiting for somebody to answer that question. You go to any team you want if you KD accept the Warriors. Says who? Like I said, fuck out of here with that fake ass shit. Like I said, I got to question anybody that that <laughs> ride with Stephen A. Smith on a fake narrative. Like I said, it's a made up narrative. But see, now Stephen A. Smith have to stick by that because he will get called out on his hypocrisy if he have a problem with LeBron James not going to the Warriors. So now he's stuck. He's stuck with that shit. And he have to do that from now on. See, he just wanted to do, at the end of the day, he just tried to do that to KD. And I'm going to tell you something else. That's going to continue to happen. And let me explain something to you once again how sports works. Why, I'm going to tell you that whole, you don't go to the team that beats you shit is fake. One way or another, if you don't finish your career with one team like Tim Duncan did or Kobe Bryant, you didn't lost to a team one way or another, whether it's in the regular season or, or whether it's in the playoffs. So that that's another fake narrative. So you mean to tell me that? So so let me get this straight. If you decide to join the Houston Rockets, you know a few years later, like Charles Barkley did, a team that you know he had trouble with. That's not okay. Be you know what I'm saying? Because you didn't lost to him one time or another. You didn't lost to a team, whether it's in the regular season, the playoffs, or the finals, one time or another. You didn't lost to that team. So that whole you don't go to the team that beat you shit is fake. I'm exposing you dudes, and don't try to change the the narrative for the finals. It's a fake narrative, straight up. You don't go to the team that beat you. If you change teams, you didn't went to a team that didn't beat you. One way or another. So stop it with that bullshit. I'm ethering you dudes with this knowledge, man. The whole, uh, uh, for real. I'm poking holes in everything you motherfuckers come with, man. Stop with this bullshit, man. You don't go to the team that beat you. If you play professional sports in one aspect, unless you didn't, then unless you didn't win undefeated your whole career, you didn't lost to a team that beat you. You didn't. Lo- if you haven't won a championship in your whole career, you didn't lost to a team that then beat you. You see how that's how stupid that sounds. You don't go to the team that you that you lose to. Really. Eventually, you didn't lose to the team. That sounds stupid. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm out, man.